Now ladies and gentlemen, somebody somewhere once said that power is temporary, power is transient. No one knows what tomorrow holds, so make truce and do not treat your fellow competitors as your enemies. This is exactly what is going on within the former IEBC commissioners Juliana Cherera and Irene Masit, regretting badly on what they had planned to do to President William Samoy Ruto by objecting the final results of the previous 2022 general elections, a failed plan well orchestrated by the former head of state, Uhuru Mugi Kenyatta and Raila Amolodinga. So first of all, I just want to clarify on something just to make it clear and to disprove Raila Odinga's statements that he made it recently while addressing some mourners in Makwene County. Raila Odinga made several statements. So let me just uh, read for you and I will show you some of them on the screen. He said that we went into the elections and we had seven referees. Four of them said William Ruto did not win and they have all been chased away. As we speak, Terera and Masit are in America hiding. Proceed to say that Madame Terera and Irene Masit ran away to the US because their lives were in danger, were in danger by these administrations. This government claims to have won the elections, but they are still out to hunt down those who they disagree with. This is, or this vindicate habit is not good for the country. To the conclusion, it says that we must stand in unison against William Ruto's vindictiveness. He is a man who believes in revenge against the people he does not agree with. So I want to disagree with reloading of those statements simply because of two issues. Number one, no one actually forced Irene Masit and Juliana Cherera to exile. As they always say, the guilt are always afraid. Their failed plan made them to fear for their lives, but no one actually was going for them. No one actually forced them to exile. They just started faking some death uh, claims and they decided to exit, to go to exile to the US up to date. And secondly, I personally believe and I strongly believe that President William Ruto has got no business at all with Juliana Cherera and Irene Masit. Just like any other, uh, the other two IEBC commissioners who were also part of the plan to overturn William Samuel Ruto's uh, win in the previous 2022 general elections. William Ruto is now the president, and if William Ruto wanted to go for them or to go after them, I personally believe that he should have done so a long period of time ago. Government knows each and everyone's whereabouts. So if the government wants you to come after you, it will definitely come after you. So. William, William Ruto has got no issues with Julian, Juliana Cherea and Irene Masit. Welcome to my YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen, and please join me as I give you the deeper details and deeper secrets of this video. But please, if you are here for the first time, or maybe you are currently watching it, you haven't subscribed, I'm just requesting you to please take a second or two and click to the subscribe button can also give this video a like. If you do that, YouTube will automatically recommend this platform, this video to reach out to others so that we can grow together as a team. To my returning subscribers also, I really want to appreciate you for your continued support. Basically, without the support, this channel cannot be where it is currently. And that is why I don't take that support for granted. And if you want also to be automatically receiving the notifications updates from YouTube itself, Immediately, I post a video on this channel, just press the notification bell. Having said that, now let us go straight into our critical analysis for today. So before Rilo Denka made these statements that I have just read for you, there are several other issues that are happening behind the scene. First of all, Juliana Cherera and Irene Masit, who are currently in exile, want to return back to Kenya. 
And for them to do that, of course, they have to side with the government. So they were threatening to actually expose Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga on their plans, on how they bribe them, on the divisions they caused in the IEBC and their mission towards that, and also together with the petition that Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga forced them to take to the Supreme Court of Kenya. This is exactly what they are planning to do. So Raila Odinga to dismiss all the claims, all these claims and all these threats to cover up for them. Raila Odinga has to do this. He has to come up with all these allegations just to make it like he is siding with them. But in the real sense, Raila Odinga actually betrayed them. Secondly, actually they are accusing Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta for betrayal. Right now they are on their own. Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga are very much well in this country. And in fact, all these issues came after Raila Odinga or it emerged that Raila Odinga is the one pushing so hard for the dialogue just to enter this government through the back door. Let me just read for you this statement that was made by Raila Odinga saying that I have or we have agreed to talk and our team is led by Stephen Kalonzo Musioka. It's called Azimio First Eleven. Well, they, are, they have brought a third division team led by someone called Ichungwa. So the Raila Odinga is the one who has been pushing so hard for this dialogue. Now, this is exactly why these issues are currently emerging. And finally, they are blaming Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta over denied payment by the government. Immediately, Cherera, Irene Masit and the other two resigned they were not given or the government did not pay them. They just paid them uh, for the resignation and all those, but their retirement, they were not given. Other commissioners led by Chipukati and the other two, they were given hefty allowances, retirement benefits by the government, and they were rewarded heavily by President William Samuel Ruto for a well job done. They did a very good job. That is why they were rewarded. Currently, as we speak, Chepukati's wife has been appointed by President William Bruto just to reward him. So those are the kind of issues that are currently emerging. I don't know what you think. Let me hear your thoughts, ladies and gentlemen, on the comment section below. Otherwise, I don't have much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. And please just write a comment. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. But until next time, my name is Jason. Bye-bye.